So one of the things that we talk about when we talk when uh, discussing the care of uh, nitinoles is humidity and uh, frequent misting and the availability of uh, water droplets off the leaves. So um, I don't have uh, misting system set up out here in the garage on anything. So what I'm considering doing is putting a waterfall, an old style Exoterra waterfall that's one of the um, like resin ones. I don't even think they make them anymore. I've had the thing for years, so I got it. Uh, I got it uh, sitting in the sink, making sure it's, uh, it's um, not going to leak on me. I went ahead and ran some white vinegar through it to uh, hopefully sanitize it. I rinsed it out real good, squirted it off. So there's Nancy. Let's see if we zoom in on her a little bit. She is suffering from a little bit of stuck shed on her head, so I'm going to take care of that. But I'm going to go ahead and um, add a, the waterfall to this enclosure. I'm going to put it right in this corner here. And the great thing about these hybrid enclosures from, I don't know if you can see, there's, there's um, what am I calling this guy? This is one of my new guys, one of my new males, and he is, he is a spaz. He, he had, wants nothing to do with his human. I don't know. Anyways, uh, what? Uh, so get my he's like Castro the third. That's what I'm calling this guy. The other one was Gitmo. But anyways, I digress. One of the neat things about these CustomCages.com hybrid enclosures is you can get them with these uh, cord grommets, and so I you can twist it and shut it. You know, make the hole bigger or smaller, so now nobody can get through. And, oops. Sorry, I went out of focus there. Let me let's bring this back. There we go. So what I was saying is, it's solid now. Twist it around. Now there's a hole right here. Now the pump to my waterfall has a small connector, so I should be able to thread it right through there without needing to pop pop this off and put it in and then pop it back on. Because you couldn't get a typical plug through there, but I might be able to get my connector through there, which would be really really beneficial. Because as you guys know, you know. Space is a premium out here in the garage, and I would have to definitely move some stuff around and be a little bit more of a chore than just uh, threading the thing through there and plugging it into the outlet. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go check on the waterfall, make sure it's good to go. I'm going to bring it out here. I'm going to hook it up with the plug. Hopefully, I'll be able to do all that stuff one-handed or put my little uh, my little DJI to pocket two on a tripod and share with you guys setting my waterfall out here for my pair of night and holes in their customcages.com h2 enclosure so i'll be right back all right working in my cramped quarters here hopefully i don't break myself or anything else and you guys hear profanity i don't want that to happen but uh, i gotta get around my wrap let me see if i can't thread this through. Yay, it worked. Yeah, I just yayed like a little girl, but that's okay. When the plan comes together. Now I need to figure out which outlet I can use. Should I use, I think I'm going to use the strip, the power strip. Okay. That's power to that. Let's try not to spill any water on it. Woo! Okay. So what I had to do was slide myself back through there, get behind the enclosure, and thread it through. Like I said, if I was actually trying to get a plug through there, uh, an actual plug, I would have to pop the uh, cord grommet off. But as it stands, I can twist it and close that hole up so just like that and here's the waterfall I mean my type tripod has loosened up on me some so let's see if do I have the corner all right so I already cleaned out the waterfall and it is ready to go, so let's make sure she's going to fit in here. Yep. And get the cord around. There we go. Okay. 
laying flat. And I will, uh, I gotta get some water and I will be right back. Let me grab my camera, make sure I'm getting everything. Oop. I gotta be careful. Once I get it plugged up, I'm hoping this larger um, female side of this will fit through there. I think it will. Okay, we have water. Let's see. Yes, because I don't want this connection to get wet, obviously, if I'm misting off in here or, God forbid, I have a leak. Okay. So, now I'm going to thread. Ooh, it's cramped. Thread this all back through behind the enclosure. At least that's the idea. Come on. You can do it. Keep going. Let's see. Let's grab some. This side, there's a cord over here. There's the connection. Let's get on this side. All right. Good, I can disconnect it from this side. Let's Close the hole up. Let's go ahead and get this waterfall together the way it's supposed to go. And this model was designed to have a fogger down in this little compartment right in there. I never did that. So there we go. So, you know, uh, it's moving water. Uh, We'll keep an eye on them, see if we catch them drinking, but it should help with the humidity a little bit, even though I do have a screen top, but just trying something new. Um, again, the night and Oles, and uh, let's see if we can get a glimpse of her head. She's uh, got some stuck shed there. Let me see if I can get old Castro to come around without getting bit. There you go. See, he is not happy. He is uh, very dark, doesn't appreciate being messed with. But look at that beautiful pink dewlap. Easy, buddy. Easy. That is what I find so spectacular about this species, that beautiful pink dewlap. All right, I'm not going to stress you out. I'll leave you. Oh, easy, big guy. I'll leave you be. So the versatility of these hybrid enclosures, I can't speak highly enough of them. Um, cord grommet, you can include that with your build. And uh, whatever kind of backgrounds, whatever kind of uh, materials for panels, for the bottom, the floor, the top. But just adding this waterfall to this one, hopefully it helps with the shedding issues. But I will get some tweezers, I've had to do it before, and um, take care of that for I'm sure it bothers her, I'm sure it's itchy. And we'll say goodbye to Castro. He's probably my fourth or fifth Castro iteration I've had. I've been keeping night and Oles for a long, 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 long time. My favorite lizard, favorite lizard species. And uh, I don't know, they're from Cuba. Let's call him Castro. And this is Nancy. Let's say bye to Nancy. And whew. it's warm out here in the garage. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to put them down at the bottom. If you like what I'm trying to do, just sharing with you guys how I take care of my animals. Um, not an expert, not a professional, just a uh, hobbyist who's been doing it for a long time. Uh, so if you have any questions, especially about night and olds, the hunter and spiny tail iguanas, I will gladly do my best to answer them. But, uh, you know, hit that bell, give me a subscribe, watch the videos all the way through, trying to get my uh, watch hours up. Um, 
you know, obviously you don't see any ads on my channel yet, so I got over 2,000 subscribers, but uh, just don't get a lot of watch time. Maybe I'm boring. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to keep doing it. I have fun doing it. Um, so until next time, you guys take care. Thanks.